Fab, it's part 15 on a mongrel. So I'm just going to be carrying on, getting all the tubes in that need to go in now before we drop it off the boxes. So just more cutting, notching, fitting, hammering, welding, that sort of stuff. So I'm just trying to work out if I've got enough tube to put all the tubes in that I want to actually get in there. So I'm either just going to do it or I'm going to be about a metre short, which would be annoying. So I've got a few off cuts that I'm going to try and use up and then I'll know a bit better whether we're going to do it or not. I'm going to use this piece, we're going to have a diagonal in the roof, which I forgot to mention yesterday. Just one diagonal coming from the uh, passenger side rear hoop over to the driver's side front leg and uh, that will come sort of straight off the top of the hoop and then it will have a bend in it about here to bring it down to this just so it stays nice and tight up to the roof. So these are going to be the two 45s going from the main hoop up to the front leg as a brace. So it's just a 45 degree notch each side. Need a inch and three quarter notch one end, inch and a half notch the other end. So you always want to try and clean inside the tube as far as you can because uh, there's like oil grease inside the tube from where they make it and uh, once you start welding it's going to get hot and run down the tube as long as you, if you clean, get it all properly cleaned out you won't have any trouble but that's why I don't use any cutting oil on my uh, hole saws just because I don't want it running down the tube when I'm notching because you're always notching downhill with that notcher and uh, I'd rather just go through a few more hole saws and have less time trying to clean the oil out This is my bottom door bar runner. I'm just going to run level with the sill. Got these bottom door bar rails in now, just tacked in place, just to hold it, hold these legs at the right distance when I take them off the box. So I've cut the tacks off now, so I'm ready to. Um, remove these boxes and drop this down onto the floor and hopefully that'll give me enough room to get around and weld everything.
So there we go, plenty of room to get in. Weld everything. So we can now uh, weld everything up and then raise it back up. I had to cut the uh, door bar, lower door bars back out because they were hitting on the uh, seat rail. I didn't think of that and wouldn't drop all the way down. Fronts were easy. Alright, so tops are welded all the way around every piece of tube. So um, now I can stick it back up on the boxes, stick those bars back in at the bottom potentially weld the boxes fully in. I still need to be able to slide this back and forward um, because when I do the front the bars that are going to go through to the front piece that I've put in there I'm going to have to be able to slide this the whole cage back a little bit so that I can get to the uh, bars that are coming off of the back side of this piece coming down here. So I'll, be, I'll slide it back a couple of inches, weld them up, push it all forward, weld the front up. Um, so I'm just going to clean all those tacks that I've cut up and then um, grind all the mill scale off the top of these boxes while I've got them out and then uh, get it all back up on the boxes. Can That's it for today. The next job on the list is going to be to fully weld in all those foot boxes and then uh, I'll have to get it sat exactly back where it's going to sit, tack it in again and then I can move on to getting the front triangulation in. Once that's done this can all be fully welded to the body. So that's it for this one. Be back on this next week at some point. So yeah, cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next one.